All right, um, there's something I have to say. I was at work and I was talking to some of the girls. <coughs> and there's one that was saying that she doesn't like being alone. And I've been there, okay? I have to say something because it just needs to be said already to all women in the world. I'm pretty sure someone told some of you. This fear of being alone is the exact same thing that keeps you alone. See, <clears throat> we have this fear of being alone. I know because I'm experiencing it now. I work Fridays and Saturdays. My kids are at my mom's house. I work all week. And when I come home, there's no one here. And I come home from work and yeah, you know, we need our peace and quiet at times. But when you're single parent, and you don't have your kids around, like there's a hole, a space, you know, emptiness. And you start thinking how you can fill it. When you're single, you tend to want the companionship. It's our fear of being alone that keeps us alone. It's the fear of being alone that will put you in a situation where you're letting a guy sleep in your house with your kids that you don't even know. The fear of being alone will push you to jump into a relationship with someone that you hardly know. The fear of being alone is going to keep you in that relationship, no matter how abusive, no matter how traumatic the situation can get. The fear of being alone is what has women sleeping with men without even knowing who they are yet. <clears throat> Here's where the fear of being alone keeps you alone. You're in a relationship with a man that doesn't appreciate you. You're in a relationship because guess what? You feel like you're alone because this man doesn't know how to treat you. I was in a relationship and I was alone for 11 years. So I know what it is. It's the fear of being alone that will push you into one night, numerous one night stands that when you're done, you know, the, the guy leaves and the chick is like, you know, alone, again, looking for the next guy to warm her bed for a couple of hours. And then they're gone too. It's the fear of being alone that will have you jumping into a relationship and moving a guy in that you barely know. Then you realize that he wasn't the one. And there you are, square one again, alone. See, ladies, you guys need to start valuing yourselves, valuing your company more than what you fear of being alone. Because you tend to just have any kind of company so that you're not alone and then realize that you were in bad company and like my mama always said it's better to be alone than in bad company <clears throat> value yourself date yourself love yourself spend time with yourself know your worth and don't settle don't settle for less because when push comes down to shove You can be alone and have somebody laying right next to you. You can be alone and be in a relationship. You can be in a relationship and find yourself alone because it didn't work out. So before you give your love, your life, your home, and your bed to a man, make sure that they're worth it. Make sure you know about them. Don't just move them into your house, move them into your bed, invite them in without knowing who they are. Why are they single? Are they single because they choose to be? Because they're players? Are they single because they've screwed up every other relationship they've been in? Are they single because they're abusive? Are they single because of many things? It's not just, oh, my ex was a witch and she cheated on me. Don't just always believe that. Investigate who you're about to let into your life. Take your time.
don't just jump into relationship because you don't want to be alone. Take your time and get to know the person because this person can make you or break you and you're allowing them into your home and your heart. Know what you're getting yourself into because this person may not be worthy of you. This person may not ever understand where you're coming from, may not ever understand who you are, may not ever understand how wonderful you are. And yet they're in your house laying in your bed. You sleeping next to the enemy and you didn't even know it. No. Know who you're with. Know who you're dating. Get to know somebody before you invite them in your home, especially single mothers. You're inviting them, not in your home, honeys. You're inviting them into your kids' home. Don't just let any person into your kids' lives. You don't know what kind of pedophile you're letting in your house. You don't know what kind of child abuser you're letting into your house. Know these things before you let anybody in your house. And this is why I will remain single. My kids, I love my kids more than I love, than I will ever love any man. And then I love myself. My loneliness is a sacrifice to make sure my kids have the right person around them. It is what it is. I'm not just going to let any Tom, Dick, or Harry next to my, my kids. Wise up. Quit putting yourself and your loneliness in front of your kids. Remember, you're, you're a single mother. You're the only person that they have in this world to protect them. Protect them. Not only from pedophiles. Not only from child abusers. Protect them from the men that you wish they will not grow up to be. Don't allow a man who's drinking and getting high and smoking cigarettes and cussing a storm up. Don't allow some guy who doesn't know how to respect women, some guy who doesn't respect his mother, into your children's lives. Because that's what they're going to see. And then you get upset when they're beating your butt. Hello? Uh, your boyfriend beat his mama's butt. Where you think they learned it from? Him. Oh, don't blame him. Who let him in the house? You. Exactly. Wise up women. This is single moms. Keep it together. Get your priorities straight. Who cares if you're lonely? Do what you gotta do for your kids. Do what you gotta do for you and the sake of your future. If you want a real relationship, put a man that puts God first in perspective. Don't sit there and believe everything a man tells you about his past relationships. Investigate him because he may be lying to you just because he doesn't want you to know the truth that he used to beat his ex, that he chased her down the stairs with a knife when she was pregnant, that he's a drug addict and alcoholic. And when he gets ugly and mean, he'll beat your butt. Don't allow a man to lie to you about who he really is and believe everything he says and think he's a good man. Don't be so quick to jump and defend him either. Because when push comes down to shove, this is the person that you're bringing around your kids. Can you really trust everything that comes out of his mouth? Can you really trust him around your kids? Come on, man. Wise up, women. You won't be lonely forever. But remember... Your kids come first and you come first. That loneliness, push it back, do what you got to do, fall back, and investigate what you got to investigate before you let some dude in your life, in your heart, in your kids' lives, and in your house. Just keeping it real. Keep it together.